Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 1st, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of choppy price action. We ended up just spending most of the day just range bound um, in the market here, chopping in a rather wide range on the diamonds. But there really was no fear in the market whatsoever um, with this extreme extension to the upside. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again and thank you so much for being here. Before we get started, let me first apologize. I've got a little bit of a weak voice this morning, not feeling um, at the top of my game here um, health-wise right now. <laughs> a little bit of a fall cold, I think, going on. So please forgive me. Um, let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. As you can see here, we're rapidly approaching this downtrend resistance here in the chart and this morning we're looking at the markets wanting to extend again continue this uh, parabolic upside move here in the Dow so let's keep a uh, close eye on some of these resistance levels here if you'll notice right in here we have a um, resistance level that's pretty darn substantial that runs all the way across here and if we tie that in with the downtrend well we've got a pretty substantial level up here to be thinking about in that chart if uh, the bulls continue to push now we seem to have absolutely no fear about um, a uh, an interest rate increase um, at all we seem to have an ability to absolutely ignore economic numbers we don't care about the economic numbers right now we're just fueled up on this um, excitement of earnings and then the possibility that, that the fed could say well we're going to decrease our pace of interest rate increases so we are very very extended in the short term of the market and what that means is if we find that point in time where we decide to come back down if we reverse that reverse could be pretty hard and i want you to just notice we've got some price support right through that level right there but unfortunately here let me go to um the Dow to just give you an idea how substantial that is. If we were to pull back from where we are um, this morning, just pull back into there, that's a 500 point drop. <laughs> so it, it's, um, it's not um, a small um, it's, it's not a small point drop and could be very, very painful, particularly if you are the last one in the door to buy in this rally. So be very, very careful about chasing this rally up. I know there's a lot of fear of missing out right now going on in the market, but just pay close attention because that could be a very punishing pullback if it does occur and that's still an if now keeping in mind if that support does not hold then the next level of support we're looking at about a 16 1700 point decline to the next price support in the chart so substantial point moves um, could occur here notice we're above our um, 200 day moving average and let's keep in mind as we extend up here we're going to run into that 500 day moving average and that downtrend all at the same place so watch that closely and then always keep in mind there is that very real situation that occurs often that once we break through a 50 like that we eventually come back and test it and again that's that's 16 1700 points um, back down so just be prepared and be watching carefully if um, those bears do start to re-engage or come in all of a sudden in the market you could see a profit-taking wave become pretty strong here in the Dow if um, some selling a hint of selling starts to show up if we take a look at our spy now spy considerably weaker we're not nearly as extended in the spy notice we have more of a 
stable upside trend. It is steep and we've got some support in here on that chart. So not nearly as rough here on the SPY in the extension. Um, we will want to take note that we're pressing into some price resistance into this chart this morning with the gap up open. So you'll want to keep an eye on that for that chance that there might be some entrenched bears in here. And as we continue to move up, just note that that big long-term downtrend, we've still got a ways to go before we contact that. So not nearly as extended here in the SPY. And you can see breaking above that 50 day moving average, then we run that risk if we run into resistance or reason for bearishness to pull back and retest some of these support levels, which wouldn't be nearly as painful in the SPY um, than it is that very extended and actually parabolically extended um, Dow. If we were to take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ is even in a a weaker state right now. Notice that although we've been rallying up in a pretty nice stable rally to the upside, we've been struggling with this price resistance in here and we've yet to breach through that level. We've got significant resistance above as well. And we know that, you know, our big techs are struggling here a little bit in the market. Um, they started to surge back almost immediately after reporting bad earnings reports. But keep a close eye on that. Um, and downtrend and these resistance levels in the chart that uh, continue to, to be a little bit of a problem for the QQQ. What was interesting is Hong Kong last night, the tech sector in Hong Kong surged um, five and a, better than five and a quarter percent last night. All of a sudden just ripping to the upside on that tech sector. So maybe we get some follow through here with that um, in the United States in the tech. Watch that uh, that pattern in there if we test some of those resistance levels. And then if we take a look at our technicals here on this chart, notice that we're still underneath that 50 day moving average and we, we may be challenged by that price resistance and that 50 day moving average yet. So still the weaker of the indexes here in the market. And then if we jump over to um, IWM, you can see in here the Russell is also pretty extended in that short term. Now we've broken that longer term downtrend. Clearly we have substantial resistance levels in this chart coming. Um, we'll We'll want to keep a close eye on that as we continue to push up here in that chart. But IWM has shown um, no fear here in the market as we continue to extend. And, and, and I would say that is a trend that's probably unsustainable um, for much longer. Um, we're stretching these, um, stretching these trends really far. So keep an eye on that. We are approaching um, a major resistance level this morning in here. We'll want to watch that closely, how we respond to that. And if those bears were to come back into play on this, then um, it's a pretty substantial pullback to the next level of support in that chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, VIX yesterday, we popped up and had just a little teeny tiny fear in the morning in that gap down, but you can see they just plowed right back in here. Absolutely no fear showing by the end of the day. We didn't take out the low of the day before, but we're setting right in here um, um, as we've broken down this um, support area in the chart. We've got a little bit of price support right through here, as you can see across the bottom of that level. But we seem to have absolutely no fear about declining economic numbers, rising inflation in Europe, China's issues in banking and housing, uh, their declining economy. We seem to have no fear about that whatsoever. They're just, just get out of my way. I want to buy something. So watch that closely. If this continues to extend on down, and I expect it'll gap down here this morning with the big pop up that we're seeing in the futures, we may drop below that 25 handle here today. Um, just showing that, I mean, a remarkable, a remarkable lack of fear here in the market considering our economic conditions. So watch that closely, but also remember this could reverse really fast. So as we extend, uh, make sure you're not chasing too heavily into this extension in case that snap occurs just all of a sudden. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 continues to show us a very extended condition here um, 
in the market. Now, we have seen that before during that last earnings season where we lingered up here. But you want to uh, keep in mind, these were some really big point whipsaws that occurred um, during that period of time. So watch carefully for that possibility if that were to um, begin here. And just keep in mind that we really, um, we can continue to extend um, this and continue to linger up here. But the longer we do, the more painful the pullback is likely going to be. And it could happen suddenly with an overnight reversal or a big intraday whipsaw. So watch carefully for that opportunity um, to take some profits if um, any hint of selling starts to pick up because it could be a substantial pullback, point pullback anyway, in that move. We are very extended here in the short term. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 is also very extended in that short term. We're just parabolic on this rally back to the upside. And as you can see, we're poking our nose up in here into these um, high, high points here of um, of the chart so watch that closely now this last rally that we went all the way up here that was that extreme extension to the upside but i would say that one was at least a little more organized we had some pullbacks some rests um, in that rally we've had no pullback or rest in here this is just a straight up run so that makes for kind of a nervous condition here where it could snap the other way pretty quickly. Now you will want to keep in mind this longer term downtrend was defeated yesterday. 62% of the stocks pushing above their 40 day moving average. So we are getting very extended in that short term. And if we take a look at our T2107, we have the same situation setting up over there um, where we've got that extreme extension setting up 37% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average and we have broken that longer term downtrend here and we are extending into some substantial price resistance and just a straight up move there's been no rest in that move just piling in so watch carefully in case that uh, pullback does begin and it could happen at any time not suggesting today it could happen at any time then if we take a look at our uh, t2101 or t2101 uh, continues to stretch up here as well as that momentum um, fueled up on these earnings reports now remember these earnings reports are lowered estimates um, that we're beating um, in these earnings reports. So um, we're not really making, companies are not making as much as they were last year, but we're buying them up at a pace that is just pretty remarkable here. So just watch that carefully. Again, if that does decide to shift, it could shift very quickly. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we do have a few things that we'll want to pay attention to, even though it seems like the market just doesn't care that doesn't uh, um, right now we're we're focused on um, what the FOMC might back off next time um, and we're focused on the possibility of um, of um, earnings continuing to uh, fuel us higher um, in the market and we've largely ignored these negative numbers that keep coming in um, on our economic um, calendars. We, we don't care about the declining numbers in China. We don't care about them in Europe. Um, it's just buy right now. And these numbers have been largely ignored. So could they continue to do that? I think the answer to that is yes, they certainly could. Now, keeping in mind, we've got a PMI and ISM. Both of the consensus um, numbers on those suggest those are going to decline and show that we are contracting in our economy. Um, construction spending well um, you guess is as good as mine but looking at the housing numbers that we ignored I would say that may not be so hot um, there and then we've got the job openings report now this is one of those numbers where bad number could be good for the market if we see those um, job numbers um, the openings starting to pull back um, that would show that they're starting to be a little bit of an impact here in the uh, market on the jobs front but we saw 
uh, last Friday even, um, jobs continue to be very, very strong. So if this comes in stronger than expected, that could be a negative for the market. And then keeping in mind as we move forward here, we're going to get um, those motor vehicle sales, mortgage applications. We've got um, ADP report coming in. Um, um, tomorrow morning before the bell and then we've got petroleum status and then of course that FOMC meeting in the afternoon that we'll want to be thinking about um, as we move into Wednesday. Let's uh, take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. It's a busy one. We're really ramping up on these earnings. In fact, this week is just um, a blizzard of earnings reports. So I can't cover them all. If you want to get the full list of notables that I put in the blog, just click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog for those. Now we've got quite a few notables here this morning to be paying attention to. Um, we're going to hear from Aflac here. Aflac has been racing to the upside, testing some um, high levels um, in the chart. We're going to hear from um, AMD later on today. Now, AMD has been struggling along a bottom here, clearly in a downtrend, despite all of the um, uh, despite all of the institutional upgrades and and um, everything on this. Um, AMD has been struggling, so watch carefully for that one this afternoon. We're going to hear from the Cheesecake Factory. Um, today, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Clorox. Um, might want to watch that one here today. We're going to hear from uh, Devon Energy. A lot of um, oil stocks out there reporting. Uh, looks like Devon is looking higher here this morning as those prices continue to move up. Got some defensive sector stocks like McCormick reporting today, uh, Mondelez. Um, we'll be reporting today. Um, we've got Philip 66 reporting. Uh, we're going to hear from um, SYY and Uber um, later on today. So, whoops. So keep an eye. It looks like Uber was this morning. Um, popping here nicely this morning. So keep an eye on Uber. Um, so with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the videos to be useful, to be helpful to your trading, if you could please do me that favor, and that's click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Uh, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you. You know, it does take quite a little bit of time to prepare, um, record, um, produce these, and get get these videos posted. So I do really appreciate all the kind support and the kind words that you guys put on those, these videos. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And please remember, um, you certainly have um, um, the ability to share these videos out there on your social media feed if you want to do that. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I really appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that um, could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful in this market this extension is uh, well it's kind of hard to find stocks that aren't actually pushed right against downtrend resistance or or just so extended along in such a long way from a stop loss there's it's kind of difficult to find a good quality trade um, without taking massive risk here in the market. But I have found a few to be paying attention to. Take a look at like JWN. Um, retail has been picking up pretty nicely in JWN. Breaking through resistance, nice little resting pullback in here. Um, this has that opportunity that that could pop and go. Now you want to think about earnings coming up on the 22nd of this month, but that's plenty of time for this to potentially rally and maybe even fill this gap up here. So keep an eye on JWN. That's looking pretty good. Um, take a look at Valero. Valero is something I've been watching, um, a refiner. Um, and as you can see, holding 
um, holding above this um, support level. It's been bouncing around in here quite a bit. My alert is right in this area and as we move closer and closer to trend, well, that's just exactly about where I want to be looking for that trade. So keep an eye on Valero. That's looking pretty good. Um, I've talked about uh, American Express. Now, American Express has kind of lagged behind uh, Visa and some of the others, and it's been pretty darn volatile. But if you'll notice, we broke through that resistance right in there. We're holding in on that support. And if we draw this trend line down here, we just kind of sneaked out from underneath that downtrend and held right there on that area. Now, if I draw a trend line up here, it also says that we may have to rest a little bit more, but keep an eye on American Express. That's going to report on um, 124, so we've got plenty of time um, on this one to trade that one. We're past that that news report. If we take a look at CRM, CRM is a pretty nice looking chart. As you can see, popped through my alert um, um, yesterday. I didn't buy it and um, just because uh, I'm just kind of uncertain about um, this market condition, but I got to say that's a pretty nice looking chart here uh, pushing to the upside. CRM might be ready to move on through to the upside. Watch watch that one. Nike was another that's coming up out of this bottom. Now you'll notice that Nike still has that work to do coming up out of that downtrend, um, pushing up in, in here. Remember, this last time had a really ugly um, report. Um, um, not good with lots of um, inventory buildup, but keep an eye on this. It's starting to shape up here and, and maybe trying to come along um, to that upside move. I do think it might be a good idea to keep an eye on precious metals. Um, Silver popping hard this morning. Silver was up yesterday despite the dollar increasing. And what we're seeing this morning is the dollar is pulling back. So we may have found this price resistance here in the chart on the dollar. And if the dollar continues this pullback here in the market, I would expect those precious metals um, um, and all commodities to rise to the upside. And with that in mind, you might want to be keeping an eye on these energy stocks. Now, I have a bias here on this because I'm holding a position here in XLE um, and at the close yesterday was up over 60% and you can see stretching here to this resistance level in the chart. Um, XLE is kind of stretched out. I wouldn't want to chase it but take a look at some of those stocks like um, Devon that might be after pulling back and holding might be setting up. Um, there's quite a few stocks that are looking good in that energy, oil and gas um, area of the market. So watch, watch those carefully as that dollar weakens, we should see those move higher. Also keep an eye on um, GLD. GLD has had a interesting bottom formation coming in here. We've got this downtrends to deal with yet in this chart, but you can see spiking up this morning here on GLD and that simply could be that weakening dollar doing that. And then you might want to also keep in mind um, other commodities out here like FCX. Take a look at this pull back here in um, FCX, that resting pullback moving to the upside, um, that might be perking up along with steel and anything in that commodity sector. Um, take a look at food, um, stocks like wheat perked up yesterday, um, commodity prices like food will normally spike up if the dollar falls so keep an eye on that so i've gone that taking this video a little bit too long here today i do apologize for that i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks for putting up with the weak voice and i want to wish you all a fantastic day